Hi guys. I have no idea whether or not my internet's actually going to load anything today. And I'm just kind of curious to see if I can even get this thing be running at all. Because, <laughs> my God, uh, <laughs> Spectrum sucks. Anyway, uh, but yeah, hopefully it's loading semi-decent. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I ain't got that little bitty Wi-Fi radar thing in the bottom on my end. So I, I guess it's not bottoming out. I don't know. Here's hoping. <laughs> anyway, let's see here, man. We got a lot. There's too much stuff to cover. In all honesty, two weeks, this has been terrible. And I apologize, guys. I profusely apologize. Uh, my bed is absolutely messed up, too. So, yeah, still no girlfriend, so we're good. All right. Uh, besides, even if I got a girlfriend, it'd probably uh, drive her crazy. Uh <laughs> But let's see here. Hey, Abe, Solange. Oh, let's see. I mean, I, I don't even know. Like, I'm really, I'm really hoping it's loading pretty good, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Ah, oh, there's the Wi Fi radar thingy in the top left corner of my screen. All right, how bad is this loading? If I'm going robotic, let me know. Okay, let's see, 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 let's see. I'm hoping here in the next few days I'll be able to get out and test out a couple more things. The uh, 350 Legend is still uh, in the shop getting painted. Uh, I got a couple update pictures today, and he's got another one, another few sitting out to me in the next like six hours because he wanted to do a little extra scaling uh, look on it. So hopefully it turns out good. Uh, I have no doubts. The guy's really good with paint, so yeah, he's helping me out with that. Um, let's see. I'm really wanting to try out the 10.5, which. Actually, I do have something for that. Hold on a second. Let's see here. Go ahead and play this. I think I'm going to name it the Blue Streak. All right? I think that's what we're going to name the 10.5, the Blue Streak. But I do have a little bitty clip right... If it loads. I'm hoping it loads. I'm hoping it loads so much right now. Boom! So, yeah, that, that, that little bit on the end, uh, yeah, my grandmother actually got to go out to the range and, and uh, had her first time shooting. And she 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 got two in the middle A zone. That, that was uh, that was surprising. I was absolutely surprised you've seen her all happy. Hey, look what I got. Uh, so that was hilarious. <laughs> but, 
well, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I'm not. I'm not putting the stock on it. I really don't want to. I don't feel like paying it for a tax stamp. And I, it, it's a two, two, three. It's not gonna kick. I don't need it. But I do have a bunch of different loads for it right now that I'm working on. Got. Uh, Two different types of VMAX. Got a 60 grainer right here. And a 69 grainer VMAX, which I didn't know they made 69 grain VMAX. So that's interesting. I got a bunch of uh, green tip and I got a bunch of black tip uh, rounds I'm wanting to test out in it. And then I have one, I think it's a it's 70, 75, no, 77, no, 75, 75 green that I've got loaded up for that we're going to be trying out. Yes, nice. 69, nice. <laughs> Ladies. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, no, no. So that's that's the update on the 10.5. I, Josh, I've got so many rounds. I have got so many mags loaded right there. It is ridiculous. I've got over a uh, 1,000 rounds loaded up for the uh, 60 grain VMAX. I've got uh, 1,500 loaded up for the uh, 69 VMAX, uh, 69 uh, grain. And I think I got another 800. I'm working on another 200. Uh, the 70, uh, 75 or 77, I can't remember which one grain it is. But, yeah. <laughs> so, I've got a lot of rounds I'm going to put through it. Uh, and unlike GT, I'm going to actually clean the gun after a thousand rounds instead of being stupid and blaming it, its faulty hardware with... 5,000 rounds on it without ever cleaning it. Dumb. Uh, probably going to get some flack for that one. Uh, I, just, I just didn't understand it. If anybody watched that video, that was... That was dumb. Let's see. I'm going to bring up YouTube. Because YouTube has been having a habit of just immediately closing people's streams. So might as well see if mine's still running. Yeah, that was that not ridiculous? Was that not ridiculous? And then he takes off the scope and puts on another scope. And it's just like, well, now it's just shooting terrible. It's like you, you didn't even sight in that scope. Like, uh, are you serious right now? Like, does anybody believe you right now? Who knows? Oh, wow. The internet's not letting me pull up another tab. That was wonderful. All right. Yeah, I was just absolutely flabbergasted. It's like, you're going to run. Yeah. And not everybody has good good outcomes with them. But, I mean, to sit there and say, like, 5,000 rounds while suppressed and you didn't clean it once. My guy. Even Daniel Defense will fail. Even Stag Arms will fail. Even Aero Precision will fail. Anderson will fail. Every gun is going to fail at 5,000 rounds if you don't clean it. I do like quad reels. I have thought about getting one. I don't know why. I, 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 I've already built two new rifles, and I really think I should probably lay low. Yes, yeah, close trains and large prostate. Yeah, yeah. I, good one, boom. I don't know. It's, it's stuff like that infuriates me. It's like, oh, we're going to... It's like, I can understand if, like, the first hundred rounds it didn't feed at all, but we're talking 5,000. 
my guy. You just put three grand worth of ammunition through it and you only spent 400 beans on the gun and you never cleaned it. So, I mean, what do you, what do you, what do you want, bud? What do you want? Yes, I do clean my guns on occasion too, even when they don't need it. It's kind of like uh, samurais with their swords. You know what I mean? That sit there and it's therapeutic for them. Yeah, that, 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 that kind of thing, you know? Which guns are essentially just, you know, swords for the, uh, the samurai of the Edo period and, and, you know, older. So, I mean, not much difference. You take care of your weapon, it takes care of you. You don't take care of your weapon, well, it's going to break on you. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not even going to be able to make a dent in all the videos, and I can't bring up another page to look at all the videos and stuff. So I, I, I honestly don't know what to work with here, guys, to be honest. Other than updates for the channel and stuff, so. And that's its own monster. I did have fun, though. I did have fun, though, whenever uh, April 1st came around, because when I went inside to work, I brought a New Year's cake and... Uh, Everybody thought I was joking. He's like, oh, that's a nice April Fool. No, I'm serious. And uh, I got that that look everybody gives you, you know, when you say something that they're not, you know, adherent to or, or, or knowledgeable about. They all just like, just that, that dumb, awkward, what? That was fun. But I do it every, every April 1st. But this is me. I want to build a car 15. I really do. But just mm. I don't I think I think what it is is I don't want to spring for the aim point. I think that's what it is. I don't I don't want to spring for the aim point. And I and it, it's <laughs> it's stopping me. So But I do have another one I'm wanting to build. And I, you, know, you know what? I'll put it past you guys. Uh, and those watching this afterwards, if anybody watches this afterwards. Uh, I did see that boom. I, I wonder I wonder if that uh, the BC-201 is compatible with the, uh, oh, what is it? The Ruger stocks, the, uh, the, the Magpul stocks that came out with for them. Kind of curious. Yeah. Mendoza Puma. That big of an outlandish of a name, though, with Mendoza Puma just sounded like it was going to be bad. <laughs> kind of like, kinda like naming, your, uh, naming your thing, uh, the uh, like putting gun in the name twice. Kind of that kind of deal. It's like, Oh, elite sniper rifle scope gun. As the name is like, yeah, I'm not buying that. <laughs> but I, I do have I do have a, a, a couple of ideas uh, of something I want to do next. I, I want to build a 308, and uh, I'm thinking I'm thinking going OD Green, right? Everything OD Green except for the accents, and the accents being that striker industry is red. And then I want to take it and I want to take the mags and get the Mythosaur logo from the bounty hunters or Mandalorian logo, whatever you want to call it and, and put it on there and just paint red over top of that. Just like a red sigil of the Mythosaur and then have another mag with the Slayer logo from doom. I think that would be pretty cool, but I don't know thinking about it. To live moo, what is up, my brother? Oh, man. 
this connection is just terrible. Like I, I'm able to stream right now, but I can't bring up anything else. I can't bring up news articles or anything like that that I wanted to discuss. And it's actually pissing me off. Most of this week has been a piss off for me. Start strong coming to work two guards down and nobody wants to come in and help. That's right, Moo. <laughs> Moo. Moo came in for the first half of the show for once. <coughs> yeah. That was the thing though. So like so like for the lower and the upper, I was planning on, on getting an arrow precision. Uh I don't I don't trust their uh bolt and carrier groups or their uh barrels anymore after everything that's happened with uh, Hasbro's uh, 9 mil, uh, nine millimeter P, uh, PCC that EPC or whatever whatever they call it for aerial precision or whatnot <coughs> but I do want to get their their uh, OD green anodized lower and upper for the 308 because I think that looks pretty cool and I think that would set it off a little bit more but I don't know. I might just say to heck with all of it, throw a BCA up or on top of a, a, I don't know, maybe an Anderson 308 lower and just call it a day. And then just go with like a multicam, you know, throw together paint job. Multicam black is always my favorite. That's just my favorite camo. I don't know why, though. Something about it is like it. You have a new granddaughter that was born during the turn. Did you call her Katrina? Is she named Katrina Boom? Because that would be at least the middle name. Something, something, something storm related for the middle name, at least. Because that would be amazing. Or a or, or pet name, My Little Hurricane. Yes, I did see the BCA 30 odd six. I did see that. I've been seeing a lot of the new stuff or whatever, and it's just like it's it's looking pretty great. Uh, I'll trust I'll trust BCA's uppers, but I won't trust their uh, standalone guns. But congratulations, boom! Nonetheless, congratulations on a new grandchild. I, I good for you, brother. I'm glad. But you you could you could totally even if even if they don't do the middle name something you know storm related, definitely definitely call her your little hurricane. Or uh, the Twister sister, if she's got a you know a sibling. Number nine. Yeah, Dorothy. Oh, call her Dorothy. <laughs> that's that's two. That's two references. That's Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz, and Dorothy's what they called the uh, thing in the Twister movie with, uh, what was it? Oh, my gosh. What was that woman's name? I can never remember her name. Oh, everybody should know. Everybody's seen that movie knows who she is. Uh, she's still pretty good looking, if I remember correctly. Yeah, Dorothy. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, boobs, boobs, boobs in the grid, Stu. Yeah, I go with Dorothy. Yeah. Dorothy, Twister Sister, Katrina, something. Something. If she's got a sibling, it's a Twister Sister. <laughs> it's like, and this week of Bubba Gibbs bad naming advice. <laughs> So there's 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 another thing I've been thinking about doing. Since my internet connection has been so terrible, I've been thought about doing like a little mini series, right? So a tiny little mini series. And uh, it, those of you who see who have, who have been in the after chat, Moo, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, for the Hillbilly Ups, uh, you know our little back chat that we do at the end of every one of the Guns Beard Therapy. Uh, so I always do random animal facts, right? That people don't know 
or, or whatever. And I've been thinking about doing a small, like, little segment, like a short, probably, some short, some stuff, of random animal facts with Bubba. I'm not sure if it'll be a hit, but, eh, it's whatever. Uh, I've been thinking about doing that just, just so that I have some type of, some type of content, because, man, not, not having any time as it's been here lately for me, it's just been ridiculous. My God. And it's like, and there is so many days I've been wanting to go out to the range. So many days I've been wanting to like, not random animal acts. Okay. But facts, facts. That's right. That's right. Moo. Not, not acts. I'm not going to talk about the mating habits of the hyena or anything like that, or the birth canal of the, uh, of the, of the hyena, but yeah, random animal facts, not acts. Yeah, I got you. The, the acts would probably horrify people, but. <laughs> the alligators also don't like Jimmy John's. <laughs> they don't like Jimmy John's and they think Subway's overrated. <laughs> People looking at me, that's a bunch of crock. No, no, it's an alligator. Anyway, oh, I had to sneak that dad joke in it. That dad joke came out just out of nowhere. I, I apologize for that. Actually, I don't apologize for that. I never apologize for dad jokes. <sighs> There's another thing I got to do. That upper right there, I haven't used in a while. And I probably should. It has been neglected for quite a long time, and I probably should do something with that too. It's snowing in West Michigan. Well, I mean, it's Michigan. So, here in Kentucky, we had uh, what was it? What was it last it, for for Easter? For Easter, it was. Uh, 78 degrees outside, nice and sunny. The, the, the first of April, immediately like 25, 30 degree weather. Annoying. I had Indian food for the first time last Friday. Never again. Okay. The Flor the Floridian mosquito is large enough to pick up a chihuahua. I could see that. I could honestly see that. Hi, Ron. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> listen, listen, boo. In all honesty, that is uh, what. What did you have? Did you have Vandaloo or did you have Tandoori? So, because because if you had Tandoori, that's not the hottest. That is not the hottest. Trust me, Vandaloo is way worse. Vandaloo is way, way worse. You, you, you be sound like you're 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 at a, a Okoyono record on the toilet. Ah! It's gonna be it'll be bad. It'll be bad. Morning, CW. Oh man, I, <laughs> something I can't pronounce. All right. Uh, but uh, I tell you what though, my hands are tired from reloading all, or from reloading all that uh, two two three. I got my hands are just killing me. It's uh, time to get a bench primer and uh, CW. I'm probably gonna get the one you got the the RCBS one. I'm, I'm probably grabbing one of those because my hands. I am done. I might be 35 <clears throat> and I might be a young bug to a lot of people, but man, I. I have loaded, uh, let's see, almost 4,000 rounds of 223. And my hand is just dying. It, it is just dying from that hand primer. I, it really is. Ugh. 
every once in a while I'll be sitting at work and I'll be doing this motion or this motion. It's just it's become a habit now. Terrible. Terrible. Oh. Chihuahua is also the most vicious animal on four legs, but it's too small to do much damage. Yeah, wanker's cramp. Yeah, that's a nice one, Moo. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> that's it. Next time you're in the back chat, I'm telling you one of the most disturbing animal facts I've ever heard in my life. Just saying, Moo. I was nice this past weekend. I'm not going to be nice next week. Yeah, that's probably where I was going to grab it from, CW. That's probably where I was going to grab it from. Hey, Billy! I actually got to be on. <laughs> Leave me a post-it note now. <laughs> no, 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 not the one about the... Although that is a very, very... There's actually, like, what is it? There's three really, really weird stories. One of them was government-sanctioned. One of them was government sanctioned, I might add. The other two were just absolutely weird, disturbing stories that somebody randomly did personally uh, involving dolphins. <clears throat> but the, the, the government sanctioned one, that was, that was, uh, that one was weird. And uh, it involved uh, L to the S to the D. And a broken-hearted dolphin. <clears throat> but I could pull those out the pocket. Rip that out the holster, you know what I mean? Yes! <laughs> yes, that's the one, Epi. That's the one. <laughs> Bunch of disturbing scientists having really, really bad... And Handler is a joke itself. Handler is the other joke in that sentence. <clears throat> oh. Abby, we got to go out and drink some mead together. I think me and you would have a good time laughing about random stuff. I have that feeling. I have that feeling. <laughs> oh, man. That's thinking of a nice way to put it. Yeah, that's perfect. Only anybody that understands the term handler being ironic. It's the only ones are gonna get that joke. That was a nice way to put it, though. I will say that that was good. That was good. Accurate, accurate, and good. Oh, let's see. It's just, it's just really annoying. Like I, I, I can't bring up a list because if I bring up the list. All what little bit of, of, of internet speed just dies. <laughs> Elvis has left the shower, but Minnie Wayne has taken the building. Anyway. But yeah. Oh. But I might I might do that. I don't know what you guys think about the uh, the the, the OD Green and the uh, Striker Industries red accents. That that seem good to you guys? I think it make it look good, pretty good. I think it looked pretty good. Tee -hee. Minnie Wayne is here! Yay, buddy! <laughs> Minnie Wayne, I gotta watch Minnie Wayne every once in a while. He pulled my internet plug. He cut my last Ethernet cord. Telling you right now, I caught him in the act. You know what he did? He said, tee -hee, and he disappeared and showed up at Ron's house. <sighs> Slippery little guy. He, 
<laughs> no. <laughs> what? What if when he did that, the stream just cut? The stream just immediately cut off right there. What if he when he did that? Honestly, I'd laugh. <laughs> His native name is Runs with Scissors. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, the jokes are good at the side chat this morning. Woo! All righty. Been, been gone so long. Everybody's just like, all right, we're gonna we're gonna drag out all the jokes, all the stops, everything's coming out today. <laughs> oh. I had a joke there, but I can't say it. I can't say it. I had another joke to follow that sentence up, and I cannot say it because I know YouTube would come down on me harder than anything else. I <laughs> just. Whew. To give context, it was going to be a Sam Smith joke. Moving on. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, his native name. His native name is Parks in Rear. <laughs> oh, that was hard. I'm having trouble breathing. No. Ladies, <laughs> I, I I got this feeling it's getting ready to get really really outlandish here in a second because <laughs> it's just creeping up on just dirty territory here. Oh. But if I if I if I divulged all the information I know about certain animals in the ocean, everybody would understand of why I would rather throw the cactus than go in the ocean. I don't even have to say all of the facts that I know; just just some of them, and people would understand. <laughs> what are you, Joe? Now, JB in the audience, ladies and gentlemen, come on, man, come on, man. That's that sentence is also another Sam Smith joke. And all I'd have to say is that's his native name. Boo. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I'm gonna keep on going, and it's gonna be really, really bad. <laughs> it's gonna get really, really bad. <laughs> More nine millimeter lung exploders, man. Uh, you know, you know the thing. You know, I, no, I, I, oh, is this my water, or is this the president's? Uh, you 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 are the president, sir. Oh, all right. <laughs> Every day he's born in a different state. Yeah, you know, I was born in Kansas, and Kansas we had to get on over to the other. What do you mean I'm supposed to read the teleprompter? <clears throat> I can't read. What are they doing? The whole country's counting on you. Just stand there. 
and look lucid. All right, I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to go down a very, very bad road, and I really don't want to do that right now. I keep on saying I'm going to stop, and then I just keep on going. You know, it's, it's like that. It's like, all right, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop right here's where I stop, and then I, I leap to the other side of where I was supposed to stop. I, I leap. I've noticed that about myself. <sighs> Oh, man, is it going to get bad? All right. All right. Yeah, I think that, that, that's ADHD. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. Possible a little bit of Asperger's in there. That's that's the illness, not 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 burgers made of... You, you know what I mean. Glitch in the Matrix. No, brother, I have a full-on virus in the Matrix. <laughs> I'm, I'm the type of person that doesn't take the uh, red or the blue pill in, in the uh, Matrix universe. I'm the one that takes both of them and says, let's see what it does. You want a revolver for a stem toy. Like a fidget spinner, but like... <laughs> this is my emotional support fidget spinner. <laughs> Why is the hammer there? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> it makes the bad people go away. <laughs> Oh boy. But yeah. Hmm. Got a, what was it? Got into a deep philosophical conversation today. Very deep. I was explaining my situation and I fell into a pit. Very deep conversation. The hat man owes you money. So I got this rule with one of my guards that uh, she's from uh, New Hampshire. And I told her I said, uh, if you if you go to say New Hampshire, you have to say it the correct way. And she goes, what are you talking about? I said, you got to say it with the New Hampshire accent, which is essentially a Boston accent. She goes, are you serious? Every time I say New Hampshire, I said, I, I, I. say it right. She went, New Hampshire. I was like, there you go. Do you really want to know when to put it in the mouth? That teriyaki flavored roasted seaweed. Decent little snack. If you like this stuff, I do. That's right. It is nori. Roasted seaweed. Teriyaki flavored. usually get big sheets and I roll sushi in it. I guess I'm a cultured Bubba. I don't know. But Bubba is Bubba. Bubba gonna Bubba. Well, they're pretty good. Nice little salty snack. It said, ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what was it what was it uh 
what was it John Panette always said? He said, uh, I don't eat seaweed. I picked that out of the crack of my butt at the beach. Is that really food? He said, I'm pretty sure that's how they harvest it. They just got sumo wrestlers going up and down the beach in Tokyo. I'm a fool now. I'm coming in. But then again, this is coming from a guy who's been homeless and is eating out of trash cans. Eating out of a sumo wrestler's loincloth ain't too far from what I did before. <laughs> I mean, there's folks out there that eat uh, pig brains, stuff like that. Monkey brains. Crickets, cockroaches, ants. I think I've eaten just about everything. I find camel crickets to be kind of like shrimp. Yeah, camel crickets are kind of like shrimp. Oh, you just saw it the other day. Yeah. I know that feeling too, Abby. It's probably why I'm fat now. I didn't get to eat all that much whenever I was growing up. When I was homeless and stuff. And now that I'm not homeless, it's no holds barred. Oh, yeah. I make a low main every once in a while and I throw in a couple strips. Tastes pretty good. I made uh, what was it? I made some buffalo ranch chicken, and I grilled it, and I put it with uh, uh, well, the first day I put it with uh, rice, and that turned out pretty good. And then the next day I put it with uh, uh, some lo mein noodles. Nice big thick cuts of onion. It was really good. That's right. You kind of have to nowadays. I walk. I I went to work yesterday. No, two days ago. And I looked at gas. And I looked at the price of gas. And at the time, it was 317 I was like, ah, I'll wait till tomorrow. It might go down. I got to get gas today. 357 It went up 40 cents overnight. And it absolutely infuriated me. Usually trying to find them chopsticks. I don't remember what I did with them. Oh, there they are. Meow. Oh, they work. I might have breathed too hard and they fell out the first time, but it worked. Oh, God, that sounds terrible. Boom. Ugh. So, I, I grew up in the projects. Yes, I grew up in the projects. There's only two of them around now in, in Louisville, Kentucky. But I, grew, I grew up in the projects. Random alarm. Odd. But I grew up in the projects, and uh, my mother hated us living there so much that instead of living in the projects, we were homeless. Yeah. 
on the plus side, other than dumpster diving, I fished most of my uh, most of my child life up until like age from age five to age nine and a half. I fished. All I did. And it was great. Kind of sucked, you know, but it was camping every day. Everyday camping it was great. Luckily, at that time, my brother was two at age six. At age six, my brother was two, so he was four years younger than me. So he had gotten off of uh, milk and stuff. He was able to eat solid foods. Yeah, long time to fish. Hope you find the cop. I did catch him. I, I, I caught him on a regular basis. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't have smelly socks. <laughs> Too broke to afford them. Okay, so the projects where I live what was your eight typical projects. Go outside, there's a crackhead flying in the tree. Baby selling weed on the corner. Stuff like that. And uh, in the projects, when we lived there, there was uh, a little bit of area where a house had been demolished. And uh, that's that's where all the kids in the neighborhood would play. And there was broken glass and rocks and, and nails and used needles and all kinds of stuff in there. We played there every day. How, how we didn't die as kids from sepsis or heck E. coli, no idea. But, yeah. You know, you go outside the projects, every store is either a liquor store or a gun store or a pawn shop that uh, wasn't necessarily legal. And um, a couple of drug stores. I say drug stores, but put that drugs in quotations. I didn't realize it when I was a kid. I realize it now. But yeah. Wasn't too terrible, though. I do remember one year when I was five building go karts with the neighborhood kids. That was fun. No, 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 no. It wasn't no Dollar General. It was Family Dollar. That's right. It was Family Dollar. No Dollar General anywhere near us. <laughs> Actually, I think there is now. I haven't been there in a while. Place got dolled up. Now the crackheads are sophisticated, I believe. I haven't been there in a long time. <laughs> Crackheads are sophisticated now. They they uh they they work in Congress. <clears throat> That's right. Family dollar where the dollar stays in the family. And it's used to snort copious amounts of a certain white powder. Anyway, yeah, Miami snow, the Swiss Alps.
the pure white Parmesan cheese. But anyway. Take care, Ron. I, uh, I didn't realize I was going to relive memory lane. I'm kind of done with that now. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go skiing. Sure you are, Fred. I tell you what, though, Fred was very productive. He got stuff done fast. He didn't do it right, but he got it done fast. <laughs> I still can't believe they made that movie, Cocaine Bear. Cannot believe it. They better live for like 15 minutes. Really? Huh. What was it? What was it Bill Cosby said? He said, the one thing I don't understand is cocaine. And, uh, Somebody told him, he said, uh, well, it, uh, it enhances your personality. And his retort was, yes, but what if your personality is being an asshole? Good point. You want to see a movie about the meth gators? <laughs> this... This episode, the good, the bad, and the bubba, is getting demonetized so hard. Not that I make any money anyway, but still. Here, drink this, Bill Suchis. This is getting demonetized so fast. <laughs> I, I feel a strike. I feel a strike coming on. Yeah, he was. Bill Godby wasn't a cocaine kind of guy. He was more of a well, zip, 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 and bop. Let me pop this pill inside your drink. <laughs> yeah, definitely getting demonetized. I ate a frozen burrito from a gas station while driving down the road. It tasted a little furry. I took a glance, didn't see anything. Took another bite. It was covered in mold. Oh, God. Woo! You've been there. Been there, done that. Problem is, I still ate it. Yeah, I had nothing for this show. Nothing, nothing planned. Nothing. Just been straight ad libs. And all honesty, it has been the funniest shit I ever seen in a while. In a while, not in my while, but in a while. I don't know. You can trust some of the little mom and pop gas stations, especially the one that runs uh, from the uh, from the people of India. They know how to make some mean chicken. I'm telling you that right now. They can make some mean chicken. I don't know what the experience is outside of my state, but yeah, oftentimes it is. 
Ad libs are always funnier. You found a flat part of a spatula inside your fish. Well, first of all, first of all, Hillbilly, you ate a fish fillet from McDonald's. That should have been your first. You know what? No, never mind. That's that. That's the first no-no. You never get fish from McDonald's. It's like asking for trouble. Um, now there is one gas station that makes, um, was it, they, they make your own sandwich or whatever. And I always got like liver cheese, liver cheese, bacon, onions, and tomatoes. I, I love liver cheese. Liver cheese is probably one of my favorite meats to eat. Never get sushi from a gas station. Ever. Kroger's actually has a pretty decent sushi selection sometimes. At least where I am. Yep. I agree with that on Colt. They've fallen really low. I love liver cheese, man. That's, that's one of my favorite things to eat. I could eat that all day. I could eat that every week. Uh, salami is another hard salami. Get your mind out of the gutter. Hard salami is another one I like. I don't like tamales. Something about eating them in horn, horn. Uh, oh my God, corn husks. Just no. Uh, something about it. <laughs> well, dang, hell, Billy, I didn't know the saying. Tell me that I'm the one person that eats liver cheese. Nice to meet you. I didn't know that was going to be you saying it. It sucks. <laughs> I just got burned by a hillbilly. Damn. <laughs> oh. Though in all fairness, I can look at pork and just puke. I don't like pork. I hate pulled pork. I can't stand it. Cannot stand pulled pork. I can eat anything breakfast related to pork. I can eat bacon, sausage. That's that's it. Like that's that's it. I know you're supposed to take the corn husk off with them. Just don't like the way it's presented. It's just like yeah, here you go. Here's your tamale. Well, take it out of the corn husk. I want to eat it. It's it's just something about pork. I just I can't I can't stomach pork. I could eat chicken all day. I could eat chicken all day long. Chicken and uh, chicken and fish all day long. Cow all day long. I can and I found this out recently. I can eat coyote all day long. Coyote, bear, goat all day long. Goat, you're always going to eat it all day long because that stuff just does not chew. It just it just gets bigger in mass until you're getting all the flavor out of it and then you spit it 
out into the trash can. That's how goats feels to me. But I actually don't mind coyote. I have tried coyote, and I actually don't mind it. Bit gamey, but I don't have a problem with it. Yeah, the corn husk is to wipe your rear end after you eat the molly. A couple hours later. Oh, I do not eat lobster shell. I do not do that. But I do love lobster. I do love lobster. I love lobster. I love crawdads. I love crawdads. I could eat the fire out of crawdads. All day long. You give me a mess of crawdad, it's gone. It, it, it ain't lasting long. Crawdads and uh, crawdads, crab, lobster, just it, it's getting eaten. It will not survive me seeing it. I was actually kicked off of a off of a boat buffet out here in uh, Kentucky because I I didn't leave the crab buffet. They uh, they kicked me out. I was like, I paid twenty four ninety five. I'm gonna eat all the crab I want. Of course, the waiter was very rude. Anyway, he came out every hour. Shrimp's another one I could eat all day. And I've gotten to the point where I don't ever, like, if I make uh, anything like alfredo, I, I don't ever, like, buy, like, jarred alfredo sauce. I always make my own now. So easy to make, it's ridiculous. A little bit of flour, a little bit of uh, heavy whipping cream. A little bit of garlic here and there. Yeah, pretty easy to make. Some butter. That's right. You here for hour? <laughs> I'm glad you're still here, man. I'm glad you got that one in there. There you go, bud. <laughs> I was waiting for someone to get it. I was waiting. Oh, John Panette, I miss that man. He went downhill fast when he started losing weight. I mean, fast. Lost lost weight in his health decline. That's weird. Uh. Have vegetable. Have broccoli. <laughs> you scare my wife. <laughs> when he was younger, he looked like Louis Anderson or Louis Anderson. At least I think he did. I don't know. We just recently lost another comedian, didn't we? Who was it passed away recently? Somebody really, really funny. I can't remember the name right now off the top of my head. Another random alarm. Shut up. Oh, that was me. That was telling me that it was uh, over an hour into the show. Okay, that explains it. It's time for Glock Talk. Don't buy them. 
I'm kidding. Get what you want. Whatever works for you, get it, boo-boo. If it works for you, get it. If it doesn't work for you, don't get it. You want just iron sights? Just get iron sights. You want a dot? Get a dot. I do do need, need to do another cookie with Bubba, don't I? I haven't done one in a, a long ass time. I don't even remember the last time I did one. I think it's been almost a year. If I remember correctly, it's been almost a year. Or it might be been right at a year. Glock made a what? Glock made a revolver. That has to be an April Fool's joke. Because Glock don't deviate. They make the same shit every single time. The only thing they do is they add finger grooves the next time. I got I gotta look this up now. Great. Thanks, CW. Now I gotta look at that. No. That is the, the the worst photoshopping I have ever seen in my life. Yeah, no, I'm I'm looking right at that CW. I'm looking right at that picture you just sent me. It's hilarious. Is that a now I gotta go to Glock.com? Okay, yeah, that was that was definitely an April Fool's joke. It's also a proper caliber forty five ACP. <laughs> was it kicked off Glock.com? <laughs> they just they just know my number. Ah, all right. I'll show it. I'll show the picture. Hold on. Where is it at? There we go. There. There it is. Came in at 45 ACP. It's got 40 Smith and Wesson rounds right next to it. Let's see. What uh, would you say? S N W J frame. Ah. No, no, 
No. No. I have so much no. And it's hammerless. That's so much no. I don't even know how to describe it. That looks like, hey, do you want to break your wrist but don't want to spend the money on something? That's... You, want, you want to break your wrist but you don't want to buy a 50 BMG pistol? Try the 500J Frame Smith & Wesson. <laughs> no! I cannot. Yes. Yes, no. <laughs> All right. No, no, no. I can't I can't look at that any longer. I can't look at that any longer. <laughs> All right, I, I'm gonna go ahead and end the show now, guys. I can't, I can't do that anymore. <laughs> oh, today's show, guys. Hope you got some laughs. This was ad libbed as can be because I could not load anything. I apologize for that. I apologize that my internet is absolute trash right now. But at least I did get to do a stream today. So there's that. And uh, let's see. Guess I'll show it uh, one more time. Hold on. Let's go ahead and pop this up. For those of you who didn't see it. There you go, guys. <laughs> Mama at the range. Hopefully, we get her some more range time and have a little bit more fun with that because that was that that was just priceless for me. Oh man, I'm thinking I'm thinking if I do another one with her or or, or I go take her out or whatever, I think I'm gonna take the TX22 out, put a couple more rounds through that. It's pretty easy to rack, and she's got really bad arthritis. I mean, really, really bad arthritis. So it might be easier for her than the uh, nine mil she was shooting. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, that's that's the show. Uh, hope you guys had a good time. Uh, and once again, to everybody that uh, donated and made me eat several several hundred milk duds. And bought the uh, parts for that ten uh, five. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, and uh, you guys are what makes this all possible. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Take care. Stay safe. Stay armed. Stay two way strong. Have a fantastic week. Keep getting at it. I got nothing else for you. And until the next time, 
we'll meet again. Don't know where, don't know where, but I know we'll meet again some sunny day. Ladies, take care, guys. Stay safe. Stay safe. <laughs>